Welcome to Lesson 8, which roughly covers the beginning of Chapter 3 of the Automate the Boring Stuff with Python textbook. All Python programs can call a basic set of functions called built-in functions. These include the print function, input, and length, which you've seen before. But Python also comes with a set of modules called the standard library. Each module is a Python program that contains a related group of functions that can be used in your programs. For example, the math module has mathematics related functions, the random module has random number related functions, and so on. Before you can use the functions in a module, you must import the module with an import statement. For example, in the interactive shell, you can import the random module to call its randint function. So we can type random uh, import random and then call the randint function by typing random dot randint, which returns a random integer between the two values we pass it. So a random integer between one and 10. You can call this several times. It'll keep returning some random integer between one and 10. So since the randint function is inside the random module, you have to first type random dot in front of the function name to tell Python to look inside this module for this function. Randint isn't a built-in function. It only exists inside the random module, which is why you have to have the module name in front of it when you call it. You can import a bunch of other modules. There's a lot of modules in the Python standard library, and you can import multiple ones by just separating them with a comment comma in the import statement. So I can import the sys and os and math modules all at the same time by separating them with commas. So there's an alternative form of the import statement. You can try typing this in from random import star. Star in this case just means import everything. So this also imports the random module, but now you don't have to type random dot in order to call the random modules function. So I can just type rand int 1 comma 10 to call that function. However, using the full name makes for more readable code since you can tell that, oh, this function is inside the random module. It's better to use the normal form of the import statement than this from random import star format. And the last flow control concept we're going to cover is how to terminate a program early. This always happens if the program execution reaches the bottom of the instructions, but sometimes you want it to stop before that. So you can do this by calling the sys.exit function. First you would have to import sys and then call sys.exit. Of course that doesn't really do anything in the, inter in the interactive shell, so let's open up a new file editor by clicking on file, new file. So type the following code in import sys to import the sys module. You can have something like print hello, and then call sys.exit. And after that, you can have print goodbye. So once the exit function is called, the program will terminate. So this tech, this code right here will never execute. The execution never reaches there because it stops right here. So when I run this, uh, sysexit.py, you can see it prints out hello, but it doesn't print out goodbye. So Python comes with several modules as part of its standard library, but you can also install new modules to add on functionality. These are called third-party modules, and you can install them using the pip program, which also comes with Python. So the pip program must be run from the command line, also called the terminal. And this is different for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so consult the course notes for how to do this for your operating system. The course material and Appendix A of the Automate book has details for how to install third-party modules. So automatetheboringstuff.com slash Appendix A. So go ahead and use the pip program to install Piperclip. This is a module that gives you the ability to copy and paste text to and from the clipboard. So after it's installed, Let's just run import piperclip. Now, if no error appears, then you've installed it correctly. But if you see an error that says something like import error, then retry installing the piperclip module. I'm going to do that real quick. And 
try importing it again. So Piperclip has a copy and paste function for copying and pasting text. And I can run it by typing piperclip.copy. Let's say I want to copy the text, hello world, to the clipboard. And I can also get the text that's currently on the clipboard by calling piperclip.paste, which returns whatever the text on the clipboard is. And you can see that the hello world text is on the clipboard by just pasting it into the interactive shell. So using the clipboard will be a great way to input large amounts of text into your program and also receive text from your programs as well. So to recap, you can run an import statement like import random to import modules and get access to new functions. The modules that come with Python are called the standard library, but you can also install third-party modules as well using the pip tool. And the sys.exit function will immediately quit your program. And the Piperclip third-party module has copy and paste functions for reading and writing text to the clipboard. We're going to be using the Piperclip module a lot in this course.